So you've probably heard a bunch of reviewers, especially Apple fans, teasing Samsung about the Galaxy Watch Ultra, calling it a copy of the Apple Watch Ultra. I even saw this article today on 9to5Google claiming it's not only a copy of the Apple Watch Ultra, but also the $6,000 Hermes watch. Now, Samsung might have taken some design inspiration from other watches, including Apple's. But to say it's a blatant copy is frankly ignorant and ridiculous. And here's why. First off, if Samsung copied anyone, it's themselves. Looking back at their 2017 Gear S3 Frontier, it's where the Galaxy Watch Ultra's Quirkle Design 5 comes from with that circular dial on a square body just like now. Apple's first Ultra Watch, that came out in 2022. And this Hermes HOA thing has only been around since 2021, four years after Samsung's S3 Frontier. So saying Samsung copied either of these designs for their chassis is just plain wrong. And by the way, this rounded square shape on a watch is called a cushion case design. And it's actually a classic watch design from the mid 20th century, long before smartwatches were even a concept. This design is not exclusive to Apple, Hermes, or even to Samsung. Samsung's use of the cushion case design is a continuation of a traditional watchmaking style, not a copy of anything. Some say Samsung ripped off Apple's ultra naming style. The funny thing is, Samsung's been using ultra on their top tier models long before Apple decided to jump on that bandwagon in 2022. And let's not forget, Sony even used ultra on their big phones over 10 years ago. So who's copying who here? Then there's the whole debate about the orange band. People are quick to point fingers at Samsung for copying Apple on that one. But hold up, Samsung used the same orange color on their S3 Frontier five years before Apple did. You see, orange bands have been a staple in diving watches for decades. The reason for this is quite practical. Orange is highly visible underwater. This tradition of using orange for visibility has been adopted by many watchmakers long before the Apple Watch Ultra came into existence. Okay, maybe the band's hollow tube design does look a bit like Apple's ocean band, but that's a common thing in tough watches. It lets air through and keeps it sturdy without weighing you down. Makes sense for Samsung's outdoor focus, and it's been around way before Apple's version. Now, about the action button, this is one area where even I agree that Samsung may have taken direct inspiration from the Apple Watch Ultra. It's a customizable button on the side for starting workouts or launching apps, similar to Apple's design. However, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. Good ideas in tech often gets adopted across brands because they improve user experience. In this case, Samsung saw a good feature and implemented it in their own way. And those software features people say Samsung copied, like Night Mode and Siren, while that's true, let's not forget that companies copy software features all year long. If you call that copying, then iOS 18 might as well be a direct lift from Android's greatest hits over the past decade. Now with all of that being said, I'm in no way saying that Samsung is totally innocent here. They've definitely drawn some inspiration, but calling it a blatant copy is just ridiculous in my opinion. Samsung could have avoided all the comparison to the Apple Watch altogether simply by not using the orange band and the Ultra name. However, they deliberately chose to include it. The reason is straightforward. Marketing. Apple has established the Ultra name for their top tier watch, positioning it as the pinnacle of their product line. By using Ultra for their own watches, Samsung cleverly taps into that established market recognition. Now, when you hear Ultra in reference to a smartwatch, you think of more than just Apple, you think of Samsung too. And the orange band? It's a smart move to get people talking. And it's working too. If you check out Apple sites and forums, people are not only discussing the Galaxy Watch Ultra, but some even prefer it over Apple's version. This buzz is exactly what Samsung wanted, to get people to see their watch as a serious competitor to Apple's, making it impossible to ignore. By the way, if you're thinking about getting the Galaxy Watch Ultra, you can still pre-order it and get an extra $50 off using my referral link. They're throwing in a free band and all the perks too. Check out the offer link in the description. Here are 12 features of the Galaxy Watch Ultra. Click right here and I'll see you there.